Hey guys, KK here, and today we're going to be playing some more tabs. So I really enjoyed playing the last video, which is why I'm back here so early. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. There's not really much to talk about. So last time, we went through the entirety of the introduction, and now we're on to the adventure. And I'm not really sure if they're going to be the same length, because if they are, it's entirely possible I could get through the entire adventure in one episode, which would be pretty great, because we have to get through all of these if we want to make it to the new stuff. However, I have a feeling that's probably not the case because there are six pages here. So this might take a while. So within the adventure, we're starting off with a level called Tree Tribe. All right, so if the thumbnail of the level didn't give it away, this level is all about a tribe in trees. So it looks like we have access to all of the units. This kind of makes it a little bit different from all the other playthroughs I've seen because all of the playthroughs I've watched have all been recorded when it first came out when there were only tribal, farmer, medieval, ancient, and viking factions and not any of these because they weren't released yet which makes this a whole lot different because I actually have access to all of these. Well, moving on from that, as to how I'm going to take care of all of these guys, I'd probably look to something like the Pirate Faction. There are a lot of ranged units that are very good. The Flintlocks, they're very cheap, and they have two shots each in their pistols before they start brawling. So I'd say we can afford a whole lot of them, which means there's going to be a whole lot of death and destruction here. Okay, so they're going in, shooting some people up, and then they go fisticuffs. Okay, so that side's going pretty well. There's only a few people left, and this side is already made it into the trees to fight people in the forest. Uh, this side's not doing as great, but let's see if reinforcements can uh, change the tide. These chieftains really worry me because they're kind of just beating the crap out of our units. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna just get picked off from meaty jabs to the throat. So that didn't work, and I think I can see why. There are a lot of units here, and with only 30-something people, and they can only have two shots each, that's like 60 bullets for all these people, and it's tabs units, so they probably missed like four out of every five of their shots. Maybe we need a more renewable source of ammunition. So blunderbuss seem pretty good because they're very powerful, and also they are armor resistant because they have barrel armor. So I'm actually thinking that we can put some flanks of them over here, and then we can maybe have some bomb throwers right here as just like a, a backup. Let's see how well this works. So they're all going to take damage falling out of their trees and some of them are even going to die breaking their bones. The bomb throwers went that way so that's fine. Just as long as you guys can do your job. They fall over whenever they shoot because of the recoil of their guns but as you can see here their barrels keep them safe even from rocks and boulders which is perfect. Then they're alive to shoot you in the, the chest. All right, now we're moving on to a level called Hay and Pitchforks, with Hay and Pitchforks. I like how there's this big, like, formation right here in the middle, because it seems like something I could exploit with catapults, because they could bomb in there with their big rocks, and going with the theme of mass destruction, maybe we could use some cannons? So now we have the big rock squad. Okay, hit their first shot, but we'll see how long this lasts. Cannon's doing work, actually. Come on. Come on, guys. This can't possibly be how you end. Cannon, shoot him! Thank you. So now we're on to a level called Nothing to See Here, where nothing to see here. Literally just grass, so if we're going to be fighting some grass, I'd think... Farmers were the way to do it. They have experience taking out grass. This is a personal matter for them. And then maybe we can convert some of the grass to our own side. And obviously we need a few harvesters because they are the chiefs of harvesting grass. And maybe we also need a wheelbarrow to hold all the stuff. They should be up front because don't want them to run anyone over. Now, this is our army, our army for taking out all this pesky grass. Go forth. Oh my god, how could I not have seen them? So the wheelbarrow goes in. Sneak attacks, the sneak attackers. Bob Ross going in, slapping the hell out of some hay balers. And now, farmers going in, stabbing the hay. Back up hay balers, converted to our side. And the harvesters move in. Scything the hell out of all of these hay bales. Come on, don't lose to these dum-dums. 
They literally have sticks and they're wearing grass for armor. Stab him. Okay, who's alive? Who is it? Which one? Okay. I guess there there's one still breathing a little bit. Okay, onto a level called Final Destination Halfling, where we have to fight a halfling with a hundred dollars, two halflings actually, on this narrow bridge. And you fall off. And your knees aren't broken though. His knees are probably broken, and his back. I mean, look at him. He literally laid there for like three seconds after he got knocked the hell out. Oh, never mind. I thought she slapped the heck out of him, but uh, nope, she's dead. Fall safely. That's not how you safely fall. God damn it. This is a, an intense fight. We, admit, we might even need some slow motion on this. Oh my god, look how glorious. He's hugging him in a sweet embrace. Oh, and then he punches him right in the ding-dong. Oh my god, look at that. He's just holding him. Oh my god. Something something wrong is happening here. No. And you, they keep punching themselves in the back. Oh my god, it's a 1v1. And he got they got tossed up like a salad. I said take him out. He took him out. Let's go, farmer for the win. All right, now we're on to a level called the smallest army. We're the smallest people. Fluffy, get in there. And you know what? Fluffy just needs his own healer escort. Holy Snuffy is gonna go in and wreck some hobbits. Look at that, look at this carnage. Oh, put it in slow motion. Oh yeah, you could tell I found the slow motion button in, in between videos. So, oh, Stomp, crushing him. He's glowing with the power of God. And he killed all his healers afterwards, because no witnesses. You don't know how many atrocities Snuffy has committed. You wouldn't know, because there are no witnesses. Anyways, moving on to a level called Oh No, Run Away with lots of bards. Wow. Fire on my command. Three, two, one, fire. Good job. Moving on to a level called All the Bones. That's a lot of bones, but you know what's even more bones? When a catapult comes for you. Or you know what? Even better. Cannon. Cannon's proved itself, okay? I'll be honest. I didn't think they were this good, but look at this. Boom! Just gonna clobber all of these fools. And they're gonna still run up and take a boulder to the face. Yeah, can your bone magic compete with this? It can. There's so many left. Never mind! We hit our shots 100% of the time. Okay, on to another final destination. This time a clubber, and we only have $70. So you know what? I'm gonna go with the painter on this one. Because he has a shield, technically. He's just gonna stab him. Oh, and then he fell and died. Oh, those are some broken knees. Yikes, dude. Okay, now we're on to a level called the tiniest attack. And I saw those spawn effects. There's tons of hobbits in here. And you know what's the best for dealing with hobbits? I'm sure dragons do very well. So we could get three dragons for that amount of money, and then we could back them up with some samurai. Just gonna cut them down and shoot them with fire. Oh my god, they flanked us! Okay, so the dragons all got stuck there, and now the samurai are gonna have to deal with like a thousand hobbits. Unless the dragons can move. Oh my god, the dragons got unstuck! They're going in for reinforce reinforcing. And then roasting all of our, our allies, but you know what, it's fine. Oh my god, there's so much friendly fire. But it's fine, we, we got there in the end. Some sacrifices had to be made, but it's fine. On to a level called bread and butter. Pretty sure this, this is neither bread nor butter, but you know what? You know what it is good for? Well, let's get the firing squad in here. I wanna just, I just wanna see, I said earlier that you're good on flat ground where you could have a whole lot of them and just shoot all at once. So let's see if they can, if they can, uh, if they could do good. So that was a good shot. I'll give them credit for that. Well, let's see if they could pull it off again. Nope. I'm not even gonna let that play out because they're all gonna die. You need more of them, okay? I think you just need the numbers advantage when you have musketeers. But what you don't need a number advantage for, god, that was a terrible, terrible, terrible transition. You know, gunslingers, okay, they're good for dealing with big hordes. And then we could just put halfling uh, distractions. They're gonna leap in. They're gonna go there. They're all gonna get shot in the back. And then the hub. Um, okay.
Okay, I guess one fell. Yup, that guy fell in the water. Coolio. Now moving on to a level called Only Dual Wielders. Pretty sure that's not the only dual wielders in the game, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more. Like the captain and the pirate queen. And we get some, some skeleton warriors to back them up because they're also technically dual wielders. They have a shield and a sword. Okay, now the pirate queen got, yeah. That was a meme strat. That wasn't my actual attempt. So for an actual battle, I think skeleton archers would be pretty good, right? I'm just kerplow. Oh, I forgot that the berserkers could jump. This was a massacre. Rest in pieces, literally. Haha, <laughs> get it? So that was not a good idea. So let's see if we could get something a little better. Okay, maybe only siege units were a bad idea. I like how the berserkers go in, but we only need like three. Then we're gonna back them up with the good old shield and Sarissa formation. And you know what we learned last episode? Side flanks are very, very powerful. So, we have our main squad. Goes in. Sarissa's. Stab the heck out of them. These guys get destroyed. But you know what? I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure everything's going on fine over here. Oh my god. They're a force to be weaponed with. And we got literally yeeted dragons and you know what goes with dragons halflings getting roasted so they're gonna go in now everyone's getting real toasty up in here and that worked very good very good on to another final destination this time it's farmer so we get a little bit more money this time but i'm sure a guy with a big stick can knock him out or get stabbed Wow, that was very anticlimactic. Okay, if they're gonna go with offense, let's go with defense. Some some shield action. Knock him off. And he dies to fall damage, broken knees, and his spine is through his mouth. Perfect. On to another level. This one's called the Scythe of Scythes. We have a few casualties, but I'm sure we're gonna win this. Or not. Okay, if, if there's also another thing that I've learned... It's that you don't put all your eggs in one basket, as the old saying goes. So, we should probably get some, you know, backup for these knights as they charge bravely and valiantly into battle. So we can shoot them in the back with some cannons. That was great. This looks like it's going good so far. I mean, a lot of them are on the ground, but it's up to the cannons now. Uh, there's kind of still a lot of them, but let's see... Two left. I'm sure you guys got this. Yeah, you got this. All right, now we're on to a level called Honoring Their Champion. Yes, I'm sure this is a very great, valid, great champion. You know what Hoplites don't like? Four catapults. One, two, and then we can't actually fit anymore. So we will put down, like, bombs. This is going to be perfect. So they throw their bombs. This is going to blow up. Now the catapults, you gotta pivot, pivot, pivot. God damn it, do you know what, how to turn? This guy surely doesn't, what the hell are you doing? So I'm gonna put one catapult here, give him plenty of room to pivot. And then with the remaining thousand, let's get some uh, actual fighting units. Okay, throw your bombs. That does a lot of good damage. Now the catapult, aiming up. The berserkers just might take care of this actually. You almost killed our last chance. And, um, there's still a few left. Shoot him. Catapult got him. You know what, Catapult? They're still good. It's just after that last episode, that, you know, part with the, uh, Catapults in the alleyway, I cut out, like, a 15-minute portion of the video trying to get the Catapults to do what I wanted. It, it was no fun. So anyways, we're on to a level called Final Destination Sarissa. Sniper on the rooftop. Shoot him. It's fine, you missed, but there's no way he could get you if you just stay on top. You literally have the high ground. Make Obi-Wan proud. You missed him by, like, a few centimeters. It's fine. Just hit him. Oh, my God. He's doing leg squats. And you're going to fall. Oh, my God. He almost just jumped. Oh, he's presenting himself. Not in that way. He's going to, like, ooh. He just, like, fell and then his his body was fully exposed not in that way he fell on his back and allowed us to stab him 
Okay. Okay, on to a level called Pass the Bridge. Looks like a lot of shield people, but I know one thing shields can withstand, withhold. These transitions are getting so forced. Cannons! Cannons! I want a, I want an excuse to use more cannons. Perfect. Doing a lot of good damage, Arena. Uh, okay, this isn't ending well. Hold on. Before we lose, distance, range. Perfect. Okay, now we have all the time in the world to get shot in the chest. And the king's down. There's only, like, a few people. Okay, this is not looking good so far. Right there, right in the face. Do it. Pull the trigger. Or not. What the hell's happening? Oh my god. He literally got yeeted. Okay, one guy. He has to get through all this wreckage. There's no way the tabs AI can figure this out. Oh no, he's figuring out. Oh no, when do you get smart? Oh no, when do you get dumb? Please, 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 no, stop it. Oh my god, he can't turn fast enough. This is horrible. It's like Ring Around the Rosie, but you know, you're gonna die now. They're literally on the edge of the map. There's no way I can make them go any farther. Oh no, the king's gonna wipe us out. Damn it. Okay, you know what? The cannons aren't working, they don't have enough range. So, maybe dragons can do it? I mean, they are all gonna converge on this one spot, which is very good for us, because that means we could just torch this spot. Oh my god, this was a horrible massacre. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god, the dragons are so good at taking out large areas. Okay, we're on to a level called the Chosen One. That's the Chosen One. I can think of one god killer. One killer of gods. Two killers of gods, actually. Take him out. Shoot him. Shoot him. You shot your own man, but you know what? That's fine. Shoot him. Oh, baby. I didn't even get the slow-mo on time, but he got, you know, penetrated through the frickin' chest. And I'm actually gonna hit the slow-mo this time. There goes the ballista bolt. It's going. It's firing. It's zooming through the air. It's gonna get him. I'm gonna get this guy. Oh no, that's a two for one. That's a three for one. That's a f four for one. Oh my god. The other one goes in. There's only like one left. And unfortunately for you, the ballista bolts don't have mercy. Right through the Oh, right through the chest. Oh my god, that's in his body, dude. Okay, now we're on to a level called Heavy Swings. So, we have Scythes and Jarls. So, just gonna clobber four of them. Or aim, fire, yes. That's right. Good, dude, good job. On to another final destination. This time it's a Squire. You know what else is good against squire 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 oh knocked him off he took fall damage now you fall, fall damage and he's dead good job squire now we're on to a level called bravely run away Oh my god, that, that guy actually dodged. He, like, did a spin, and he completely dodged the bullet. Wow, that was pretty impressive. However, it won't save you, sir. Nothing will save you now. Oof. Onto a level called a few catapults. You know what? A few catapults can't hit. Probably... Whatcha? What you doing, whatcha? And then we get a cannon. Because cannons are great. Do it, whatcha! Take him out! Damn, we're gonna have a few berserkers. They're gonna charge in, and hopefully they're gonna be the target. Perfect. Now, watches versus catapult. Great. I also saw there that, like, a few of the watcher arrows stopped a boulder. And now we're onto a level called Sneaky Tribe. You know what? I have a feeling where they are. Oh, yep, they're all in here. Damn, that's a lot of them. But you know what? I feel like this is a, a, a pretty a pretty good opportunity because there's this small opening they have to go through. What better way to exploit that than firing squad? Please, just work for- Oh, right. 
Okay, firing squad, just please work for one. Okay, perfect. Interlocked firing squad. They're gonna do this, I believe. Look at that. Tight, tight, you know, opening into the cave. Shoot him. Yeah, the firing squad did good. Now onto a hoplite final destination. You know what I can do here? Spearman on the roof. This is literally the perfect strat. Oh, holy crap, dude. Oh my god, that was actually so violent. That's like through his brain. Oh my god. That was actually savage. Onto a level called absolutely not ambush, and this isn't. This is definitely not an ambush. So you know what? Let's get a bone mage. And just, just in case, you know... For absolutely no reason, I'm just gonna put a few blunderbusts over here. Halfling distraction for the forest. The forest likes to eat lots of halflings. You haven't heard the, the legend. And then we can even back the blunderbust up with musketeers, which are on this side for some reason, when they should technically have the range on their enemies. But anyways, go! Oh my god, how did I not see them? Okay, jokes aside. I feel like this is a pretty good strategy. Guns are usually very good at their job. Okay, down to like three squires. This guy's legs were shot off and now we execute. Great, good job guys. Now we're gonna do a level called a mammoth migration. This is kinda hilarious. You know it's not hilarious though? When fluffies get shot in the face, it's actually very tragic. Sadly, it's what's gonna happen right now though. Get the berserkers in here. They're literally the best for causing distractions. Just they jump forward, and every single time the enemy falls for it, and then they get shot. That's unfortunately what happens. And then the berserkers ride them, and oh my god, get flung. And then the it's so sad. Look, the bodies are literally blocking our shots, except for this guy. He has he has clean shot. Do it. Shoot him in his fluffy legs. Look at his legs. Little wobbly legs. Ooh, damn, bro. Okay, now we're on to a level called Tower Defense. Oh, or or they'll just be shot. Good job, Musketeers. Okay, now we're on to another final destination. I swear, they're just like sprinkled in every once in a while. This one is a Berserker. And I think I still have my best, like, my top strategy. And this time we can get two of them. Oh, I forgot he can jump. Holy crap, dude. Oh, well, he fell to his death, so that's all that counts. Now we're on to a level called Hiding Barrows. You know what? We haven't actually used the Da Vinci tank yet. How could I not have used the Da Vinci tank yet? Perfect. With a Beyblade, no less. Look at this Beyblade. Take a bull, take a boulder to the face. That one's gonna miss, but this one won't. Oof. So, with a combination of that, I think we could get some musketeers on this. This is gonna be like aiming practice. Uh, not a lot of you. Never mind. You know what? Apparently musketeers can aim up. Okay, now we're on to a level called still nothing to see here And yup, I agree. I mean, there's just lots of hay. So who do you bring to deal with hay? Harvesters. Perfect. Oh my god. I didn't even see them. This joke is getting so old, dude. I swear But you know seeing hay bales getting absolutely sliced by harvesters will never get old So let's just watch some of that. Oh My god this is a, a hunt. They're hunting the last hay bale. The wild searching party goes for the last hay bale and bonks him. Now we're on to Bone Mage, the final destination Bone Mage. Uh, this is actually kind of dangerous because anything on this will just get destroyed. But we could still use our age old strategy of throwy McThroaster stuff. So it's heading in. They missed. And yeah, he can't, the Bone Mage can't actually do anything when he's on a different elevation, and you guys just fell. It's fine. He offered his life so that the Bone Mage would kamikaze. It's actually pretty valiant, dude. Good job. Now we're on to Thrice Power. Thrice Power. It's a pretty cool formation you got. It would be a shame if someone were to drop a few boats on it. Generally, in my experience, the boats aren't actually that good because the people that come out of them, they only have sticks. I mean, they're very long sticks, but they're still just sticks. 
but they work. Now we're on to a level called All the Archers. You're actually missing one, okay? It's very unfair. You're missing a few, actually. You're missing the Balloon Archer and the Skeleton Archer. No! Okay. So that didn't work. Okay, fine, fine. So if I'm gonna take this seriously, then there's one unit that can take them all out, and that's the Shield Bearer going in with their Sarissa Brothers, just gonna charge in with the, the Spartan Formation. This surely has to work. I mean, the Snakes are kind of a problem, because they could get past shields, but it's fine, because if these guys do good, then we could flank them. And you know what? Actually, the Snakes aren't even that big of a problem, because because of this. You know, they, they, get, they got owned, and everyone else got owned. Wow, what do you know? Putting shields against archers is a good idea. That's a lot of shields. This is called death from above. Let's get a Jarl. He's gonna be here. Oh, and I think the Jarl found him. But he can't, he can't go. Seriously, dude, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Oh, he got through! Slap the hell out of him, bear man. Just cut him clean in two, pretty much. Now we're on to Final Destination Chieftain, okay? Every time this comes up, just put these guys up here, okay? The two dum-dums. And he'll just, they'll just peg him in the face for you. It's easy, okay? Now onto a level called Tree Mammoths. Those are Tree Mammoths. And again, sadly, I'm gonna have to deploy the Ballistas. Because you aren't authorized to sleep here, Fluffy. Fluffy's. Fluffy's family. So, please get down. Oof. Damn, dude, every time they get hit, their head just goes, like, thrown back from, like, the impact force. Okay, now we're on to a level called Traffic Jam. We got slaughtered. Nope, we just got- um, The bomb throw just killed himself. Okay, that went terribly. Nope. Yeah. Oh, they both took below! God damn it, dude. I- I just- I'm out of ideas. I can't think of any possible way I could do this. I mean, gunslingers, they're very good for big targets and large groups. One stuff, he's dead. Holy crap, is this the way? Is this how you do it? There's only one Bob Ross left. Come on. Shoot him. Kill him. Murder. Murder. Thank God they're all gone. Holy crap, onto a level called Big Confusion. I'm not dealing with this, this crap anymore, okay? Gunslingers are gonna wipe you out. Oh, never mind. Can't deal with potion seller. So we'll put some cacti. Because the cacti are actually like projectile resistant. So they're perfect. And then fire. Perfect. Moving on. Okay, now we're on to another final destination. This one is called Knight. Where there is a knight. And he's gonna get hit in the face with a big spear. Dead. On to all the potions. Fluffy. Have a feeling healers would be good for this. And then, just a firing squad, just shoot him. Boom, most of them are dead. So if he's a little intoxicated, but it's fine. He could wobble around and flop on him all he wants, no matter how drunk he is. Easy. Next level, which is one at a time, please. One berserker at a time. I hate these berserkers so much. What am I trying to do? Why am I doing such small brain strats? Just... Take, get out the shield bearers, get out the Sarissa, literally the best formation. Who cares if you jump in? We're just gonna beat the crap out of you. I mean, it looks like that's how it's gonna go. Yeah, don't have to overthink it. Sometimes just a big army works. Just stab this guy, kill him, murder him. Yes, good. Now we're on to a level called shoot the cow. I will gladly shoot the cow. Oh wow, I could get a lot of ballistas. Okay, this is a little overkill, isn't it? I mean, look at this. Right? They're all dead. That's so easy. Just shoot them. Oh, that's an issue. But no, it's fine. We're fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we're on to a level called Final Destination Yarl. It doesn't matter who it is, as long as the Spear Boys are up here on this little dome, you're gonna get a stick in your butt. Yeet! Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's alive. Huh? Huh, and he could jump up here? Okay, shoot him. Okay. 
He took like 12 spears to the face, dude. This is a level called Flyers Only. Again, you left out the Grim Reaper. And you're not including his friends. I mean, they can't fly, but if they get hit hard enough, they'll fly. If you hit anything hard enough, it'll fly to me. The Scarecrows are super fragile, so go in there. I don't know, just put a Jarl in, because he's strong. And then you can even get a cannon. Perfect. So, Grim Reaper. He does his job very well. He literally grabs people, and they're dead already. See, it's just, it's breezing through. Let's get this done. Now we're on to a level called Mountain Tribe with a Snuffy at the top. Well, most of them are going to break their legs when they fall, but the rest can just get shot. Okay, great. The Snuffy is coming down the mountain. Everyone is getting frozen. Now, please focus on the, snu uh, the Fluffy. Okay, the Fluffy is slowing to a crawl. Can barely even move. Look at his little feet. Bonk, bonk. He doesn't even kill people anymore. This is literally going so well. The Fluffy is frozen. Who the hell is alive? This guy, yeah. Okay, attempt number two, because people got stuck last time. So, freeze the chieftain. Perfect. Who the hell is alive? Oh, this guy. Again. This dude. This mother. I swear to God. If you are safe in this little pocket of rocks, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna kill you. I mean, he can't really kill you. Guys, come on, please. You're literally like singeing his toes and his ankles and his knees. And then the rest of my troops are over here like idiots, freaking scaling this mountain. Oh my God, this is kind of funny. Look at these dudes. Well, these guys try and shoot him, but they can't because they can't aim. The first archers are making their way down the mountain, pulling him out of his hiding spot until they fall and die. He's dead, yeah. Okay, come on guys, just pull him out into the open. That's all it takes. Okay, this is the third time where that chieftain gets stuck in this rock and they can't shoot him. They just can't do it. He likes to just sit here by this rock where conveniently there's this little like cove where he's safe from all our arrows. So then people have to climb the mountain and then they all die trying to get him. I mean, look at that. He's like hiding behind this rock and they can't shoot him. And sometimes the other time it was even worse because he was like here, he was like in here. He was like all the way in. Right now he's just kind of on the side. So we might actually do this. Please, please, I swear to God. Okay, how many, how many reinforcements are left? Just you guys? Okay. Oh my God, they killed him! He didn't even freeze. They just shot him so many times. He died from like flesh wounds. I think this is gonna be it, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it through the entire adventure because, you know, this is a long one. This is super long. So yeah, as you can see here, this is all the levels we've done. This is 12, 24, 36, and then 46. So I've done 46 levels in the past hour and 44 minutes. That's a lot. Let's see how much I can compact this down. And let's see if I can actually get this out on time, because hopefully I can, because I'd really like to get through all of this, because let's see, we have two here, another 12, so that's 14, and 16. There's only 16 levels left of the adventure. And then, of course, you gotta remember that there's all of these campaigns. There's still the Challenge, Dynasty, Renaissance, Pirate, Spooky, Simulation, and Wild West, which means there's gonna be a lot of episodes if I keep going at this rate. So hopefully next time I can pull through a little bit longer and not get frustrated by one freaking level, which by the way, I'm pretty sure it was this one, Traffic Jam. 
so that I could get to all the new stuff because I still really want to get there. I mean, the new stuff is super dope and everyone else is already covering it because I'm slow and I didn't freaking play the game before the final update came out. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Tabs. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!